Thank you so much for coming out. This is our family. This is our family. You know, one of the things that people forget all of the time is the people who love them and the people who who we lost had loved ones too. And something that I said yesterday at a, a vigil was that my mom was a night shift nurse. My mom was an essential worker. My mom was somebody who worked so hard to bring a little bit of peace and comfort to people. And these women reminded me of my own mom. These women reminded me of myself. This is how we humanize them, right? We give them, we saw their faces for the first time in the media today. They looked like me. They looked like my aunties. They looked like my mom. They looked like the people who we see every single day. And, and that's what's important. That's what's important to make sure that we give their faces, we give their lives, we give their, their existence room. And I think it's so important that we actually know that for ourselves as well. Your existence matters. All of this hate, all of the things, they're not, they're not actually something that started a month ago. These are things that are systemic. These are things that are systemic and are things that are part of the system that is built to keep us down. That's right. And it's not gonna make it better, okay, to have more police. It is not gonna make it better to have more police. We're not asking for more police. Let's look at our own NYPD, okay? Our own NYPD only has two Asian Americans in any, in any top office. Two, I can name them, I know them. Thomas Chan, Tommy Ng, okay? That's it, that's all we've got. When we are not at the table, we are not in the conversation. Do you know what was the most heartbreaking thing that was part of all of the things that were shown in media? It was those 911 calls. When those women tried to call for help and nobody on the other end could understand what they were saying. It broke my heart. It broke my heart because it sounded like my own mom. It sounded like people I knew, the, my constituents, when they're asking my office for help. But you know what? I can speak in their language. I can make sure that I hear them. And our agencies, our government, the people who work for us, they should also speak our language. access until we have resources that I don't want to see more police. I will never forget the elderly gentleman who tried to cross the street in Harlem and he was brutalized by the NYPD because he couldn't understand. He could not understand what they were saying to him. They didn't know. He didn't know that they were even talking to him. And he had his face smashed into the ground and his face was bloody and and that is why we need to make sure that people know that until our systems are actually made in our image, we're here to dismantle theirs. And I'm going to say this also. I'm going to say this also. This is rooted and racism is state sanctioned. Every single one of our policies, every single one of the things that passes through law, all of our history, it is rooted in racism. It is rooted and founded to keep the few people who benefit in power. And it is to keep us from reaching it. Asian Americans, one in four Asian Americans in this city lives in poverty. That is the facts. We are the most impoverished ethnic group in this city. And yet we receive the least amount of social benefits. Yes, yes, that's true. And on top of that, our own state budget, 
our own state budget. Until I was elected, there wasn't a single dollar actually allocated to Asian Americans in line item in our budget. And you know what? That was Cuomo, actually. But in real talk, even what I got was $300,000. $300,000, do you know how large our state budget is? It's $174 billion, and we got $300,000 here. And I don't want to take resources from anybody else, okay? I don't want to fight over the same piece of pie. I want to make sure that we have our own fucking pie. legislators that spoke, the other legislators that spoke, powerful people, we need to make them ask for the same thing. We need to make every single one of them ask for resources for our community. We need language access. We need every single agency with our face on it. We need to make sure. We need to make sure. to make sure that we're represented. I am, until three months ago, the only Asian American woman in the entire New York State Legislature. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. We need to make a lot of change. And you're all part of it. And it's about making us human. It's about seeing that we exist. It's about making it so that we can make sure that the next breath and the next breath and the next breath, we don't have to beg for permission. I'm so, I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated, I'm so tired and I'm all cried out, you know, like I think. I wanna put out there three things that we can do to make it so that we actually have what we need. Okay? The three things that I'm going to ask for all of you to do is to actually look and see all of the people who are around you right now. See the, see the Asian American faces who are near you. Ask if they're okay. Call your friends. Okay? Everybody needs some, some love right now. Everybody needs each other right now. The second thing, if you are an ally, take upstander and bystander training. We need to know how to stop the hate by, by just speaking up for each other. When you're in the subway, when you're, when, when you're hearing somebody say something, you know, make sure that you're actually stepping in. And there are safe ways to do it. There are safe ways to do it. And you know what? Don't do anything that puts you in an unsafe position, but make sure that if you are there and you are able to say something, to make sure that you, you do that. And there's trainings for that. There are amazing trainings for that. I'm going to shout out, you know, the center, and I'm also going to shout out Hollaback. I'm going to shout out all of the people who have actually been doing the work on the ground. Black Lives Matter movement has made this happen for us, has made these resources happen for us. We appreciate you, Dame. We appreciate you, Dame. We appreciate you. One more thing, which is ask for those resources. I want all of you to go home, call your legislators, call the people who are in office, call every single person, call up to Chuck Schumer who was standing here today and tell him, and tell him straight up, we need resources. It's not enough to have words. It's not enough to have words, we need action. Asian hate is to also include us. The model minority myth makes it so that they don't have to include us. They think right. that it's all good, right. okay? The, the, the stereotype of the perpetual foreigner syndrome is also made to not include us, okay? Right. They want to say that we are not part of them. And that is why until we have a system that is made in our image, we are here to dismantle theirs. Yeah. 
And just one more time. That's true. We all pay taxes. That you're loved. That's it. You are loved. You deserve to be here. You deserve to have your voices heard.